hey in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create the animated progress bar and this is achieved using bootstrap so you can be uploading a file to your website and how also youtube does it when it's processing the file that has been completed to be uploaded on the internet so you can put this logic on your website and create these nice looking progress bars when somebody is uploading files to your internet so as you can see we are having our animated progress bar and the background is what's called the jump tron using bootstrap so we are going to be achieving this using bootstrap i'm going to be showing you the different colors and how you can achieve this so when i refresh we are going to be left with nothing so i'm just going to go back in my text editor as you can see we included the general jquery file and we also included the bootstrap css and bootstrap js so that's all you need in your project file to start so i'm going to start by creating a div let me tap this so i'm going to give this one a class of container so it's going to assign some fixed width to our container or it's going to be looking like everything is centered on our website and that's bootstrap so i'm going to create comments so that you don't get lost when you are over creating boot some divs end of container div so you are going to be seeing many divs on this web page or in this short project so we are going to create another class here and we are going to call this one jumptron so Jamtron is the other light gray background you saw that was accommodating our progress bar and the H1 element you saw. So I'm going to call this one animated progress bar. So save this. Uh, this is what we are having. So this is the Jamtron and this is our H1 element. So everything was centered. So I'm just going to add another class text center. So this is how you had different classes. You just need to leave a space in between the first one and the last one or the current one you're going to be applying. And as you can see, everything is centered. Now it's time to program or create our progress bar. So below this, we are going to create another div. So as I said, these divs will be confusing. I'm going to put a class here. I say end of jumptron. So that you don't get lost in case you are new to using divs. You know, at times they confuse. So this div is with this div. So end of jumptron. And this div, you are going to give it a class of pro progress. So this one is the div for the progress. And inside this div, we are going to create another child div with a class of progress bar. Progress bar. And we are going to put some text, plain text. It's going to be a number. Let me say 80% uploaded or uploading. And I'm going to create some inline style. And I'm going to set a width of 8%. So I want it to correlate with this one or follow with that one. I'm just going to say 80%. And as you can see, we're having our nice looking progress bar. It's left with a 20% to be full. As you can see, by default, this color is called the primary color. So it's progress bar dash primary color or primary not primary color so this is the type of progress bar you can create so by the first one you saw it was striped what you have to do is to go after i said after when you want to add a, add many classes say space say progress bar dash striped so progress bar dash striped and preview this in a browser our progress bar will be striped as you can see it is simple to create and remember the other one was animated 
what you need to do is to add this class of active so as you can see we're just adding classes there's nothing like a lot of programming just bootstrap gives you that easiest route to take to create such cool animated objects on your web page as you can see now it is animated i can zoom in for you guys you see we're having our animated progress bar as i said you can program this using javascript to dynamically change this text you are seeing that 80 percent uploading you can increment this using javascript until the file is done and everything will be processed now let's talk about the colors the different colors you can apply to this progress bar so right after that progress bar stripe we're going to add another class progress bar dash danger oh progress bar dash danger and our progress bar will turn red and red will not be like uploading let's say you want that to be evoked when something has failed and we say upload failed upload failed and such text will be displayed so you can program that according on the way you want let's say you want it to display something when the file is complete no the width has to be a hundred percent for something to be complete and we are going to say here 100 percent completed so as i said you can change this dynamically using javascript or php just one this one is just the ui and for something to be successful it has to be in a green color not red so we can come back here and say progress bar dash bar progress dash bar dash success save that and as you can see 100 percent completed so those are the different classes you can apply on your progress bar and these are only how many lines have we used so one as no don't count that one say one two three four so only four lines of code using bootstrap and you create such amazing style so thanks for watching guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe hit that like button comment let me know if you need help in the comments below so we shall be creating tutorials to help you guys achieve your goals in web development